you know, I've been at the state capitol for more than three decades, and Linda Scheid was here longer than I was. She had been a state representative uh, in the mid-1970s when the Democrats had their biggest majority. She was also in office when the Democrats were at their low ebb, which would have to include this past session as well. She and I knew the same governors and experienced the same budget crises and had a similar frame of reference about how Minnesota, Minnesota once operated state government and sort of a vision of how it could operate that way again. That way being a more congenial place than it has been of late, a place where ideas mattered and, and didn't necessar weren't necessarily driven by party ideology and where relationships really are, were what drove the, 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 the governance of the state. Well, Linda was a, a, a person who grew up in, in modest circumstances in St. Louis Park. She went to the same college that I did. She was there 10 years earlier, Coe College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which is a small liberal arts college in, uh, that uh, has historic ties to the Presbyterian Church. Those ties have become rather minimal now. But it's a place where people from relatively modest means come and get exposed to the wider world and, and have, are encouraged to become leaders in their communities. I think Linda really took that message to heart and it was at a quite a young age that she decided to seek service in the legislature as a, a career path for herself. She was out of in office for I believe one or two terms and then out of office for a long enough time that she might have become discouraged but came back in 1982 and really has been serving the state ever, up, up and now until her death almost three decades later. Linda worked in a part of state government that doesn't get much publicity, the regulation of financial industries. Important work, but very seldom would that rise up to uh, uh, be, uh, any kind of acclaim or widespread attention. We needed someone of her caliber, her intellect, who was willing to bore in and take ownership of that issue and make that work for the Minnesotans who count on good financial, good and well-regulated financial industries. So Linda really deserved credit for taking on something that was intellectually challenging and that didn't bring the reward of much publicity.